Okay, so we are now in the orthodox module. So for this step, we're going to just open up our case. You're going to find wherever your models are. So in this case, I've got it on my desktop under ortho demo. I'm going to click on the upper model. You can pick whichever one you want, upper or lower. And you can even use this viewing window over here to confirm this is the model you meant. Okay, click on OK. And it's going to ask us, is this the maxilla or the mandible? We want to make sure we select what's appropriate, of course. Click on Maxilla. And now we're going to be, for most of the software, we're going to be following the top right, or the, the right side, which is the panel, the orthodontics panel. We're going to work from top to bottom. Before I get into that, I do want to kind of cover some of the buttons up here, just in a general sense, so you know where they, what they are and what they do in the software. File is fairly intuitive. It's where you're going to go to save your projects or open an existing project. Or if you're working and you want to just abandon it, you can hit new project. Okay. There are also shortcuts here to close the project, to start over at the main screen, or to save your work. Again, this is new project and open project as well. So lots of the same shortcuts here. There's other things available if you need to purchase exports because when we're all done designing this case, if we decide to move forward and export the case, it's going to use one of our exports. And the export is basically the way the software is monetized. You can download it for free and tinker with it, but if you want to output the files from the orthodontic module, it is a per case fee. It doesn't matter how many models there are, but it costs usually around $10 or less for the upper arch and $10 or less for the lower arch. Again, that's not per model. That is for the entire patient setup. Okay. Other than that, um, there's not a whole lot of other tools that you're going to be using uh, often here. Uh, honestly, I don't use most of these in the orthodontic module. I use them much more in the um, surgical guide software. Um, so I'm going to pretty much skip over this because it's not really relevant here. One thing is relevant though. If you go to help down here to about and click on this, this will tell you which version of the software you're running. So if you ever have a question online and you need advice, be sure to know what version you're running because sometimes you might run into a, a problem that has been discovered, but it, you are running an older version of the software. And that's a quick and easy fix if that is the case. So be sure to be aware of what version you're using. And this will also show you how many credits you have. Usually if you've purchased, in this case 65, I have 3.75 remaining, which means I'm probably need to update uh, and add more just so I don't run out anytime soon. Okay, I'm gonna click okay here. So now the rest of these buttons, again, I don't use them very much in the ortho module. There is the option to use lab pronto. As we're designing these cases, if you ever get to the point where you feel like, you know what, I want someone else to design this case. It's too complex or whatnot. You can always click on lab pronto and you can tell, you can submit your case for design by a lab technician that has been approved um, by the Blue Sky Bio company. Okay, basically each lab that works for Lab Pronto has been vetted to make sure they know what they are doing and that they are competent in design. You can have them design lots of things, ortho, surgical guide, and whatnot. You see there's plenty of them. And there's also a big button right here to purchase exports the same way as it is in the file, purchase STL exports, trying to make that as easy as possible. And down here at the bottom, no new hints. I can click X, but that's where you'll see updates to the software or products or whatever. You'll see a little thing there. It's just a little a small notification. You can click the X and it goes away. I think I've covered pretty much everything. Um, oh, and if you're looking to, you know, for implants and stuff, and also as we get into the indirect bonding scenario, brackets and whatnot, there is a button right here, which connects you right to the Blue Sky, Plan Blue Sky Bio website so that you it will auto-populate your cart with whatever parts and pieces you're looking to use, okay? So we're, again, I I'm hoping that I've covered everything pretty well. Um, some navigation tips. If you press your left mouse button, it allows you to toggle the model around. You can swing it all around, okay? If you press the right one, it allows you to zoom in and out, okay? If you press both of them, it allows you to translate or slide it around, okay? Not to over confuse you, but as I said, the right click allows you to zoom in and out. So does the wheel. If you wheel it up and down, it zooms in and out. 
And if you press the wheel button, it allows you to translate just as though you were pressing both buttons. Again, you don't need to know all five of those options. Two of the two sets are redundant. Left click, toggle, right click, zoom, both buttons, translate. Okay, and one last thing to be aware of, if you look down here, there's this little head, this little virtual head. If I click this arrow, it should show me the front of the models. It's not the front right now, and I'll explain that in a little bit in the next video. But if I click here, it shows me the side. You can always find where you are. If you've toggled all around and you've gotten kind of lost, just find these arrows and you can recenter yourself. Again, this should be facing us and it will be in the next video. Okay, so now I'm gonna work through this panel. I'm gonna click on Import Opposing Arch. Now I'm gonna find the lower model. Here it is, click OK. And now it will import that. Depending on the file size can take longer or shorter. These files are actually fairly large. The, the models I use now are much smaller, so they load faster. Not a big deal, but just so you know, depending on the file size you're outputting, uh, will be quicker or slower in the loading. Now we can go ahead and name our patient case. So I'm just gonna call this test patient. And next, we just need to click on this button to continue to the jaw alignment. Again, this little head down here is backwards because these models were produced, in this case, using the Seric Omnicam. And the, the 3D environment that these models are aligned to in Seric is 180 degrees backwards to Blue Sky Plan. That's why when I look at the front, I'm actually looking at the back. When I look at the back, I'm looking at the front. No big deal, the next step is going to fix this for us. So let me click here, 